Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here my name is Maria or it's MJ here on YouTube so in today's video as you guys saw by the title and as you can see from my background today finally I am doing my long long awaited perfume collection video now we are in my living room and I have them displayed in my dining area obviously my perfumes are not stored here i'm going to be showing you guys clips along this video of where they are stored i have them all in my closet so i tried my best to organize them in a in an organized manner <laughs> similar to how i have them displayed inside of my closet now grab a snack grab a drink girl or guy because this video is going to be very long most of these fragrances are fragrances that i have talked loads and loads throughout all my videos so you guys are welcome to check those out so i'm not going to go deep into descriptions and all that because you guys know that i can talk i can talk honey okay so the way that i organize them i organize them by section so this section right here is my niche slash higher end designers like, like private collections and stuff like that most of my fragrances are designers i would say uh yeah this section right here is like my dark and sexy design designer fragrances over there i have my aliens because they needed a whole section just just for my aliens because it's alien <laughs> i'll be showing closer shots but just as a quick overview the middle section that i have right here are like my more sweet feminine gourmandish leaning i don't have too many gourmands but just my sweet and flirty perfumes over there i have like my freshies which i really don't have a lot um in the middle back section i have like my everyday casual perfumes like great for like work and stuff and on the left side my left your right back end i have my like bed night comforting cozy scent so that's pretty much it i'm gonna start off with i guess the closest to me which would be the niche section right here starting off with feb delicios and this is from christian dior and this is so delicious this is a little bit waxy a little bit makeupy so comforting so yummy it's just very almondy and sweet soft super super comforting i love this for like a bed night scent it's super good super delicious and i have here the small i believe it's like 40 ml that they do i'm kind of glad that they do these small bottles though because i really don't need like the whole big mumbo jumbo you know the next one that i have here is a new one that i received and this is from uh, twisted lily they were kind enough to send me this fragrance and this is cruz del sur number two from zerjov <sighs> mm. and this is just like a creamy delicious <sighs> mango milkshake that's the best way that i can describe it or like a paleta like a creamsicle like a mango creamsicle it's so good it's so 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 delectable like this taste i'm not even gonna say smells this tastes so good y'all it is one of my favorite niche fragrances next one that i have is serge luton's umboa vanilla this is a uh, woody vanilla this is very bougie this is what i call a unique bougie woody waxy vanilla it smells so good this is actually one of my favorite like bed time scents but i did put it in the niche but usually in my closet i do have it in my bedtime uh, section armani Privé pivon suzo i forgot honestly how to pronounce it the juice in here changes color i don't know if you guys can see but it's super like pink and iridescent it's super pretty and that's how it lays on the skin oh this smells so rich this smells like i always say like like the richest but like at beverly hills oh, it smells so fresh and has a little bit of like a spiciness it's very soapy this is one of my most soapy perfumes when i want to smell like very rich and luxe but fresh like fresh out of the shower i'm not trying too hard i just naturally smell good this is scandal or scandal and this to me is reminiscent of angelique noir it has like a green crisp floral aspect but it dries down to like this creamy musky floral that is reminiscent to me of narciso poudre and i love that perfume. like narciso poudre delicious so good and the ones that i got from them this is one of my favorites and one of the ones that have the best performance this is one that i have in my collection right now this is elixir from roja parfums but i'm not gonna keep i love the bottle but i'm gonna gift it it's just a perfume that i mean as you can see i clearly have way too many perfumes <laughs> I know that I'm not gonna wear. It's nice, it's meh, kind of like, it's just unimpressive to me, but I'm gonna give it away to my boyfriend's mom just because um, I think it's pretty, it's bougie, um, it's light, it's more of a, like an EDT formula, but I just know that I'm not gonna reach for it. The next one that I have here is from Navitas Parfums Champagne Royale, and this smells like 
a guy, but like a sexy man. Very confident, sexy man. I think women can pull this off as well, but I'm gonna be giving this one away just because I think it's so good and I think it would smell better on a guy than it smells on a woman because it is definitely leaning masculine, but it smells so good. It just smells like a confident guy. The next one that I have here is Creme Imperial from Navitis Parfums. I'm not gonna be talking about too much about this one because I do have an upcoming video with this perfume, but that's all I'm gonna say. It's just that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> the next one that I have here is also from Navitas Parfums, and this is Soir Exclusive. I love these bottles. Like, this is, like, it's just so rich, especially, I should have shown you guys the other one. This is also similar to me in the same kind of vein realm of Feb. They have this, like, nutty tonka bean, dried down, like, almondy, like, around that realm very delicious very nutty very like not very sweet but it has definitely some sweetness very good as well so that is soir exclusive very yummy bdk uh tuberos imperial this is one of my favorite tuberos fragrances and also one of my favorite niche fragrances it just smells so creamy and sweet this is the tuberos version of delina it's definitely a heavy floral but it's also quite like airy and very vanillic. This is one that transforms and my juice is getting darker as you guys can see as it sits and macerates. It smells so good. It's very bubblegummy and sweet and creamy but airy. Y'all need to try it. One of the best tuberose fragrances in my collection. The next one is no other than Miss Delina from Parfums de Marley. What else can I say about Delina that has not been said before? rosy feminine a little bit spicy sexy confident <sighs> money it just smells like money this is one of the best niche fragrances in my opinion especially if you're starting off into niche fragrances it's very easy to like very easy but still very different it's very popular in the fragrance community but it's not a fragrance that you always smell the next one that i have i have the cap but it felt like underneath my bed and like i'm just too lazy to get it but this is delina exclusive i do have both of them not one that gets uh the flankers and stuff but this is one that i do find worth to get the flanker just because this one is a lot more creamy and slightly powdery delina the original is just more fresh and this one just smells more creamy like it is a different take on delina so depending on my mood this is one that i wore a lot during like the winter time and if i wanted to smell like delina and then uh the original is one that i'm currently wearing during like the spring and now summer the next one that i have here is from swiss arabian and it's casablanca it's one of my favorites i've talked about this since literally the moment that i got it, it just smells so sweet very syrupy, very rich, very different. This is a great topper for like pretty much every perfume that I have in my collection. It just goes with everything. It just adds a different sweetness to it. It's very addictive and it's very long lasting. Great bank for your buck and definitely 100% niche quality. I'm not even sure if Swiss Arabian is niche, but I consider it niche and it definitely smells different than anything that I have in my collection or any other perfume that I've ever seen. Before. The next one that I have here is from uh, Navitas Parfums as well, and this is Intimus Parfums. This is another one that I can't talk too much about because it's going to be in an upcoming video. This is fresh. I can't talk about too much about it, but this is really good and I do really like it. All right, the next one that I have here is one that I purchased myself. It smells like a cherry almond toffee Bagger Root Tri 40. Like, that's what it smells like. It smells so so yummy it also smells like the holidays because that's when i wore it around that time the notes are very like holiday ish like new year's christmas i think that's what it smells like to me really really good i highly recommend this one and it is also pretty affordable and i got gifted i was super excited about it i had a sample of it let me show it to you guys up close this is a mouage portrayal woman so beautiful right so iridescent this so i got gifted this perfume and i chose it so it wasn't even like it was just given to me i chose it um out of the selection that i had and it's because i fell in love with the sample that i had from this perfume it just smells so bitchy so mean so powerful but i wore it the other day and i did not enjoy it at all i smelled like a cigarette i smelled dirty i did not like it it smelled very indolic i just was not jiving with it so i don't think it's a fragrance that i care for anymore and i kind of regret like asking for this i could have asked for so many other things like governor's islands from bond number nine but i asked for this and it sucks because it's like 
I don't, it still smells good too, like from the cap. But when I put it on me, it just smells like too, too mean. Like it just, I feel like it smells good and it would smell amazing on someone else, maybe someone older. But on me, I feel like it just doesn't match my personality, at least not at this point in my life. All right, the next one is Benevolence or Benevolence from the House of Siage. I'm sure you guys are familiar with these cupcakes right here. And this smells like a more almond musky version of love don't be shy very sweet but it has that almondy um musky dry down it's my air i hope you guys don't hear it in the video the next one that i have is this beautiful let me shake it up for you guys so you guys can see the full effect how gorgeous is that that's beautiful right this is loon feline from atelier the ores look at that so freaking beautiful and this is mm, so delectable this is one of like my top favorite vanillas so unique so rich so decadent so delicious very well performing like 100 percent worth the money and this smells like by the fireplace but more smoky it just smells it smells so good y'all like i cannot wait for it to get cold again so i can wear this Oh, it smells so good. This is a perfume that I really, really wanted, and I was so happy when I was finally able to add it. Avant Days Trionon. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is from Lancome, the, their Maison Lancome line. And this smells like lavender sugar cookies, like I've said before. It has a buttery sugar cookie vibe. You know, like the buttery cookies in Christmas, like in that blue tin but it's like the one that's the most buttery like this literally has like a mantequilla flavor like it smells so good like butter mantequilla but like with a splash of lavender oh, it's so 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 good this perfume right here is so comforting to go to sleep like you don't need a lot just put like a little bit like um around your neck and your wrist y'all it's so good that one is discontinued so i'm so happy that like i'm fortunate to have it in my collection wow this video is gonna be long i mean i told y'all it was gonna be long moving on to the designers we have here mark jacobs from well mark jacobs <laughs> mark jacobs okay we have decadence from mark jacobs Ugh, this smells sexy spicy mysterious womanly just all the feels smells rich it smells like a red carpet then we have dior addict this is a beautiful white floral perfume oh this smells like sexy as hell like this smells but like dirty sexy if that makes sense someone like a woman that's full-on confident tight black dress a red lip like a red bowl lip oh red bottoms all that it just smells so sexy and so confident then we have nina ricci i always forget the name of this one and this is one of my favorites what a shame this is lextas or the parfum rose absolute uh, the one in the black bottle this one i believe is also discontinued but it or it's just hard to get it's pretty hard to get really it smells like oud satin mood it's a rose perfume and it smells like oud satin mood this definitely like it smells like it has oud according to the notes it doesn't but this smells like rich like middle east it smells like money it's just, it's so luxurious i love it and it's one of my favorites it smells really good but the performance is absolute trash it's just, it's shit like it's yeah it's just not good but it smells so good <laughs> has um to me like a vibe like a sexy vibe it's definitely like a western vibe though um it smells kind of like the vibe of carolina herrera good girl the next one that i have here is pretty much empty <laughs> it's elixir from kenzo that is pretty much empty and this smells so good it smells like product candy but way better it's so sultry so sensual it's a great bed night scent, but it's also like a date night scent. It's also like a Netflix and chill scent. It just smells good. It smells so good. It's one of my favorites. One of my ultimate top five favorites is Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. This shit smells like a sexy, like a woman in leather. Like that's the best way that I can describe it. A woman in leather, bossy, mean, spicy. So good. We have the new La Belle Le Parfum, but this is pretty new in my collection. But it has a bubblegummy, sweet, candy, more flirty touch. The original label, the vetiver in that perfume, I feel like leans a little bit more mature. And this just 
It's most more just more friendly, I feel like just more young. Then we have Scandal by Night. In my opinion, this is the more sexy Scandal. Scandal. I, I never know how to pronounce these. This has a cherry nuance in there. And it's sweet. It's a honey bomb, but definitely more different than the original one because it has like that cherry nuance. It's really, really good. This layered with this chocolate perfume. I can't remember the name of it right now, but y'all, this shit smells so good. Okay, the next one that I have here is Jimmy Choo Illicit. And I actually prefer this over Angel Share, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say that they smell the same, but kind of give me the same vibe, not gonna lie. Like, this has ginger, I believe. It's a little bit spicy. It's sweet. Definitely great. Um, not only a signature scent, but I also feel like for nighttime, this is sexy, but like more, not as raunchy. It smells good. It's sweet, woody, and it has that cashmere in vibe about it. It's really, really good. Carolina Herrera, good girl. I mean, what more can I say about this perfume that you haven't heard already? Sexy, fresh, sweet, and it has that mm, like manly cologne vibe about it it just smells like a woman with confidence super super good i feel like the shoe tells you kind of how it smells the original la nuit trésor is this discontinued y'all because this was so hard to find when i first bought this and i bought this like a year ago but it was so hard to find oh this smells so good it just smells very rich and spicy and sexy and dark mysterious like this is not a perfume that i can just throw on and go to work like i definitely have to like do the whole nine <laughs> rock off Ooh, this bottle is so dirty dirty dusty why are you so dusty musty but but this is shock of oud from swiss arabian oh this should have been in that section my bad but this is pretty much just like an oud perfume um dark chocolatey a little bit nutty. Um, this smells very, extremely similar to Oud Bouquet and also kind of like Oud and Oud. Like the way that it projects at least on me and that I've smelled on other people, low-key smells like Oud and Oud. So just an Oud perfume pretty much. Valentino, Donna, born in Roma. We're moving into my flirty, sweet perfume. Fizzy, flirty, girly, like date night. This is like my base i just love to layer this shit with everything i have a layering perfume i'll link it down below and up above all right also we had to move because my arm was just like i just couldn't do it so we have now black opium what else can i say this shit smells like sweet it's a little bit spicy it's dark i'm sure we all know what black opium smells like i don't really wear this on its own anymore i layer it with valentino donna born in roma once again one of my favorite layering combos i'll link the video down below so you guys can check it out oldie but a goodie and this is a zara wanted girl i haven't talked about this in quite a while but it's still one of my favorites mm -hmm. yeah mm, pretty unique in the sense that sometimes it leans more gourmand other times it leans more floral kind of just does what it wants to do whenever it wants to do it. it smells super good i love this this is actually one of my really good like well complimented perfumes like on its own because i don't really layer this one with anything and every time i wear it it usually like garnishes some sort of compliment La Nuit Trésor a la folie starts out pretty fruity like berries ish mm. yeah this one definitely is going to garnish you a compliment as well if you wear it on its own or if you layer it with valentino donna born in roma but then it just dries down to like a cakey vanilla like a doughy vanilla very good if you enjoy vanilla perfumes i feel like you would love this perfume so this is c fiori this is one of the most creamiest perfumes in my collection i just want to smell like a girl like literally super feminine super pretty super dainty angelic and i want to get compliments as well c fiori this shit smells so good and i love to layer it also with tom ford noir pour femme it just smells ugh, delicious like it tastes good it doesn't smell good it tastes good elisa girl of now shine i prefer this one over the original because this one doesn't smell as cough syrupy as the original does and this one has like slight freshness from that pineapple but what i really like the most is that i consider it more almondy more syrupy um, and it has a slight boozy vibe about it i feel like it's that syrup with the almond that just has a slight booziness about it like an amaretto so that is elisa grill of now shine killian princess i'm not the biggest fan of gourmands like full-on gourmands i don't want to smell like the inside of a refrigerator i don't want to smell like someone's kitchen but this is one of the gourmands that i like i like more like gourmand florals but this is one of the most truest gourmands that i have in my collection along with some other ones that i'll mention but this smells like a starbucks um 
matcha latte or a matcha flavored marshmallow definitely a pick me up i love it so much and it is discontinued or not being sold anymore like low in inventory in the u.s i believe you could just find it in other countries like in europe not here so at least that's what i was told but killian princess so get your hands on it if you have not already moving on to my aliens we have alien essence absolute love alien alien is literally like my favorite perfume ever and this is alien with vanilla a slight boozy uh touch this literally smells like vanilla extract like the baking vanilla that you have in your pantry if you run out of this literally just pour vanilla extract all over yourself and you'll smell like alien essence absolute <laughs> but it smells so good and i have backups of this perfume that's how much i love it because i love vanilla and i love alien so two of my favorite combinations in one we have alien fusion this is like my fall alien it reminds me of halloween even though i don't celebrate halloween or of like thanksgiving oh, it has like a slight spiciness but it's like a ginger spiciness it's sweet it's soft this is what i call the most digestible alien the most easiest to like i would say because it's sweet it has like a cinnamon touch it has like a cinnamon dash it's really good and it's very very similar to rouge malachite or malachite from armani Privé. so say so there you go say your coin girl then we have the original alien which you know dark mysterious sexy i personally think every girl needs at least an alien in their collection then we have alien O sublime that i just pretty much talk about literally in every video because it smells so damn good it's the more fresh like summer spring version and layered with one of the these lotions that i have it just smells so fucking good it just smells so good so these are my alien moving on to my freshies now i have one that i raved about last year i was literally talking to my cousin yesterday and i was like y'all we need to go to the mall and pick something up because let me tell you guys so love express i talked about this perfume so much this is to this day my most complimented perfume it smells so fresh so fucking good it just smells i don't even know how to describe it y'all it just smells really good musky clean it's just delicious okay one of my most complimented and you can't find it online anymore and when you can it's extremely overpriced like a freaking express perfume for 150 dollars like are you dumb or are you dumb <laughs> but go to the store and buy it okay because they're still selling it but in person just yeah but anyway so love express super fresh super good super delicious super sexy and then we have sofia vergara by sofia what more can i say that i have not already it smells sweet fresh it's a mixture between la vie belle and chanel coco mat as well great bang for your buck this is $20 and this is a big old 100 ml and it smells so good, also really well complimented and you smell so fancy without spending a lot of money. Another fresh use that I have here is Roberto Cavalli Jamadi Paradiso. This smells like a sexy Latina on a summer vacation, okay? And this is Flora Botanica from Balenciaga. This is very unique, one of the best designer fragrances. If you want a unique designer fragrance, Flora Botanica. I love to layer these together as well. It just smells like a bossy bitch, pretty much super super good next we have more of my these are fresh perfumes but these are kind of like pick-me-ups or sometimes like i just don't know what to wear and i just want to wear a perfume because the actual act of like spraying on a perfume just makes me happy these can also be like bedtime scents and this is amethyst lalique and this smells fruity fresh green and it has a slight powderiness but the powderiness in here is just like motherly and the same for this this also smells similar to lalique i feel like they both have similar compositions but lalique is definitely a lot more green like literally like very crispy like the leaves the stems all that shit and this one is just like a exotic fruitiness it's not western fruitiness these are more translucent aquatic exotic fruits and it also has that oh, it's more like a citrusy end without smelling like a toilet bowl cleaner <laughs> and it also has that slight powderiness and it dry down but it's not a baby powder it's more like a comforting motherly hug type of powder and i really like these especially like i said to go to sleep or after the shower super comforting or also to go to work like if you just don't feel like wearing perfume for the day you don't want anything too heavy but you want a reminiscent of something kind of like a yuba better perfume talking about a yuba better perfume we have oriental vetiver i can't talk anymore i'm y'all i've been talking for over an hour now that i'm pretty much done y'all this is so fucking good this is uh their inspiration of byredo's bal de freak so good i this smells so rich like i 
I've talked about this so much, but y'all need this. Like, tr please try this out. Like, please, I beg you, please try it out. Like, this smells so good. And then I have another one that they recently sent to me. This one doesn't smell bad. This is Woody um, Sage, and this is their Woody Sage and Sea Salt clone. It's around the same realm of this, but this is more like salty, like salty skin. And it doesn't smell bad, but do I see myself wearing it? I don't know, I'm not sure yet. It hasn't impressed me as much uh, as Oriental Vetiver, but this is also not a bad fragrance. It's just, I don't know, maybe not my thing. Yeah, so it was starting to get like really hard for me to <laughs> grab stuff. Y'all can stop seeing my ugly ass face and let's finish the end. But here we have Hypnotic Poison. I put this in this realm of like my sweet slash gourmand perfumes and also kind of like my comforting perfumes. So this is Hypnotic Poison from Dior. I actually really like the smell of this. It's nutty. It has a slight Play-Doh-ish vibe about it, but honestly, I don't care. I still like it. It's sweet, it's soft. My problem with this is that performance is absolute shit. <laughs> and um, I know that the older formulations were like a lot more potent, a lot more rich, but yeah, but I still really enjoy the smell of this, so that's Hypnotic Poison. And then we have from Laird, uh, Caramel Overdose, and this is a clone of, <laughs> this is supposedly one of their original creations, but not y'all. This is their clone of Love Don't, Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, and this is just like very, very sweet. And then we have Oriental Cherry. This is one of my absolute favorites at this time. I just got it like literally like a week ago and it has a dent on it. Let me show it to you guys. There you go. Yep. I've worn this only three times, y'all, and that is the dent that I have. Like I'm trying not to <laughs> I'm trying not to run through it because the other one, the the Oriental Vetiver, I ran through it and now I have to buy a new bottle. So I'm just like trying to be stingy with it, but clearly not that much. This shit smells so good. This is like a mixture between Lost Cherry and Feb. It just has this very almondy, like a honeyed almond with the cherry. Y'all, this shit is so good. Like I just want to eat myself. Like it smells so good. All right, so that was too much. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. This is um, in my Freshies, and this is Lancome Ido. To all the Ido haters, we can't be friends. <laughs> this smells very fresh and rosy. This is kind of like an easy grab. If I just want to smell really good and fresh and very feminine, Ido, this is just like an easy dumb reach for me. Okay, then we have this area right here, I kind of like my work scents. And I won't say that I don't wear any of these to work because I most definitely do. But these are kind of like also just like dumb reaches and just very work appropriate. We have Manifesto from YSL. This is one that when I got, I wore a lot to go to bed because it's very comforting. This is like a green floral. It smells so soft. Also complimented on me, a very comforting perfume. And then we have Roberto Cavalli, Paradiso a Saluto. This is such a gem, y'all. Like, <laughs> also one of my top complimenting perfumes. Fuck, I should've, I just realized that I should've added this into my layering combos. Damn, I guess I'll say it now. So this layered with Casablanca, y'all. So good, very well complimented. I should've added into my video of most complimented because this is a bomb ass, like very unique combo. This is like a cheaper alternative of the Your Addict and also not as green. Very unique perfume and it's super, super cheap. Very um, underestimated. And then we have Dolce & Gabbana, if it wants to focus. Then we have Dolce & Gabbana, the only one in tens. If this is a jasmine, cashmere, like coconutty perfume, very, very creamy, very, very good. This smells so, so, so good. It smells like a CEO woman. Then we have Flower Bomb Nectar. This is my Flower Bomb of choice because it's more sweet, but still translucent. This stuff lasts forever as well and a very great like everyday work scent. And then we have here my comforting perfumes. Um, I think I already talked about these. I'm not even gonna go into that one again because I've talked about it way too much. <laughs> we have Ariana Grande Cloud. This is airy, it's cloudy, it's sweet, it's soft, it's angelic, it smells so good. We have Angel Muse. This is one that was so close to decluttering, but this is my Angel Muse of choice. Uh, just because it has like a passion fruit, which is more appropriate for me that I live in Florida And it still has that like cocoa powder dry down that Angel Muse has as well Then we have JLo Glow and this smells pretty synthetic Not gonna lie y'all, but it smells like a shampoo-y perfumed maracuya drink It smells really really good. I was about to say taste 
Then we have Rihanna Rebel Fleur and also super tropical, super sexy, very womanly, and it just smells super, super good. One of my favorite like celebrity perfumes. Now here, we're going to go to the back, and these are kind of like, I want to say my unicorns, or the ones that I don't wear as much, and this is MAC Velvet Teddy. Um, I got, I wore this a lot when I first got it, but then last year I actually didn't because I wore it by the fireplace way more, but by the fireplace smells like pretty much like what it says, literally by the fireplace and roasted marshmallows. It smells so, so, so good. My Velvet Teddy also smells like a very empowered, sexy, dark, like bitchy woman and she's like at a cigar bar. Like, I don't know, it smells very unisex, very confident. You definitely have to be a confident, artsy kind of woman to wear and to pull off Mag, uh, Mag Velvet Teddy. Then here we have also kind of like my dumb reaches as well. This is from Fragranza, this is Sensual Flame. They have like the pictures in the back. Both of these are like creamy, uh, floral perfumes. Then here we have my backups, uh, which I still have not gotten uh, to do this video, y'all. I'm so behind on everything. I got these from Amber Chantel. These are Montel samples. She sent them to me to do like a video. And I, to this day, I have not done the damn video. I'm sorry, Amber. Like, I'm so late on everything. These are from Juliana's perfumes. I never got around to do the video for X and Y reason. And then here we have my backup of Alien Essence Absolute from Terry Mugler. I think I'm gonna get rid of one though, not gonna lie, because I feel like a hoarder for keeping two. And I know that they're discontinued and all, but honestly, like wearing, for example, Princess with Alien or like Alien with like a vanillic tone perfume, you kind of get the similar vibe of Alien Essence Absolute without that menthol, which doesn't bother me, but you get similar vibes. This is Velvet Peach, from, also from Fragranza. It smells like peach gummies. It smells so good and I don't know if I'm just having a Tom Ford kick. This shit smells like so, so delicious though. And this is just the top of my thing. So that is my entire perfume collection, yo. Oh my God. I hope you guys enjoy it.